Hi there, in our tutorial for today, we're going to learn about position and vector 3 in Roblox. Let's start by adding a part to our game. We can scale it. Very important, make sure your part is anchored and you can change the color if you like. And now go to the properties window, we're going to look for the position property. And here it is. The position property is a vector 3. It consists of three different coordinates, three different values. You have the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate. Together, they, they give the object a position in the 3D world. Now, if I go and change one of these coordinates, instead of point 0 0.5 for the Y coordinate, if I make it 10, you can see that my part has moved up by 10 studs. All right, let me move it back down. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use script to move our part. Let's go to our part now and we're going to add a script. First, let's declare a local variable to represent our part. Local part equals to script dot parent. Next, we want to get the position property of the part. So we're going to say part dot position. That would give us the position of the part. And to move the part, all we have to do is to add a vector 3 to it. So we're going to do plus equals to vector 3 dot new. And we're going to give it three values. We're going to give it an x, y, and z value. So for example, if I just want to move my part up, so my x is going to be 0. As for my, my y value, I'm just going to use 1. So we're going to move up by one start each time. And the z value is going to be 0 as well, because I'm moving straight up. I'm going to put this inside a while loop. So I'm going to do while, wait for one second, do. And now I'm just going to move this inside my while loop. Before I start to move the part, I'm going to wait for 10 seconds. Just to give me enough time to get to the part. Let's now play and take a look. Look at that. I landed on top of the part. So I don't have to move to the part. I didn't need the 10 seconds. I could have used maybe 5 seconds. And there you can see the part started to move up and it takes me with it because I'm standing on top of the part. If you want your part to move smoother, we can change the weight here. So instead of waiting for one, we're just going to do a weight. And then we're going to change each time it moves up by 0 0.05 instead of one. Let's play and take a look. And there it is. It's moving much smoother this time. Alright everyone, that's how you use position and vector 3 in Roblox.